Hey what's going guys welcome back to my channel. Now in this video we'll be discussing about that why you shouldn't use volumetrics in your scenes. And I'll also be giving a substitute and alternative uh, for it which is much more faster to render and looks almost identical uh, if not much more better. So let's get start started with the tutorial. So first of all why you shouldn't use volumetrics. I I think that most of us uh, or at least intermediate uh, 3D artists already know this answer but I'll just clarify this. We don't use volumetrics because it is very hard to render comparatively to the step that uh, comparatively to the way that I'll be showcasing showcasing in this video. It takes uh, a lot of computing power to render out uh, good volumetrics. So many uh, pro 3D artists don't really use them. Use them. So for example, let's take an example of this scene and let's, let's take an example for clouds. Now, if you are a beginner, you will think that yes, we should use volumetrics for clouds, but that is definitely not the case. You should never use volumetrics for clouds. Instead, what you should do is use an image, right? Uh, now, you may be uh, surprised if you are a beginner, but let's see. As you can see here, first of all, let me just hide this so my viewport isn't, so my render isn't that laggy. So if I just go to the render view mode, as you can see here, I mean, right now I'm using the uh, volumetrics. Now I just wanted to get the look and the lightings all set up that that's why I'm just using uh, it for this scene but I'll be just removing it at, uh, in the future. So now as you can see here according to the lighting our scene looks like a bit uh, of monsoon or a bit more rainy season you could say. So we'll just go to the internet and just search a rainy sky or a monsoon sky and for example i've just downloaded it downloaded an, an image for example of course this is uh, not as high quality as i would want uh, i would do a bit more research uh, to get to put it in my final render but just to showcase uh, and for the sake of this video this is an example as you can see here if this was a much more higher quality it would look really great and almost better than this as you can see here this isn't really that realistic which i created using the real sky real sky add-on which is by the way really amazing if you are trying to create lighting uh, quick lighting and clouds but uh, in my opinion this is much more better way now you may ask that what do we do for the shadows as you can see here these actual volumetrics uh, clouds uh, block the uh, sunlight and block and create some shadows for that you can use a very simple trick you just need to create a very simple material which is as follows first add in a plane and then create a simple material now press shift plus a and then go over to the menu and search for noise texture okay and now simply add in a color ramp uh, plug the factor into the factor of the color ramp and uh, plug the color into the color of the alpha of the principal bsdf now you may not see uh, the difference as YouTube compression may not show it perfectly but if I just move these sliders around as you can see here we are starting to get our result as you can see here these parts as you can see if I just showcase the black parts are completely uh, hollowed out and the white parts are visible so we can just play around and for example if I just do this we can make the uh, shadows much more lighter so if we say uh, if, if the scene is a sunny scene then you may go for this look or for example in my scene it is a bit more cloudy so i'll just go for this we can in we increase the detail and maybe even the roughness a bit so as you can see here this will cast shadows onto our scene and this is the perfect way to get shadows now there are many more exciting and many more amazing ways you can use alternatives for volumetrics but uh, for example for an explosion if you want many explosions happening you can even use a animation laid onto a plane so it won't take as high computing power as it would with the actual simulations but i won't be explaining them in detail as uh, this video will get very lengthy maybe in the future i'll create a separate video for it so if you have enjoyed it, this video and have learned something new, then make sure to like and subscribe for more for more videos like these. Until then, I will see you around. See ya.